Oh, well, I'm Raul Jimenez. I, I came from Barcelona. And uh, I'm here to talk about 360 and VR Radio. And I, I want to, I, my, my plan in this talk is uh, to, to show you that this is something accessible, accessible for everybody. I want to, I, I, my, my, my goal in this talk is that to be sure that everybody can, uh, after this talk, make something with VR video and 360 video, which it's pretty, pretty easy, you, you will see. Uh, well, a, a little bit about me. I have a small company in Barcelona. We are a top -top partner and Google partner. I'm also an Angular GDE. That's why this talk is going to be uh, about uh, VR, but all my examples are going to be with Angular 2. And I also have, uh, have an um, open source project called Videogular. Uh, which is an awful name, but I love it. I've been working with it for the last three years, and uh, I'm working right now in VR too. So, okay, that's it. Let's talk about VR. So, VR for a lot of people it can be scary, right? Because you know it is it is really hard. I mean, we need to learn a lot of math, understand how the 3D works because we we came from the 2D world, right? We we are web designers and web developers, and the 3D is not that common in the in that um, in that world. So uh, we need to learn a lot about shaders, materials, and all that stuff. That it can be a little bit scary. So um, obviously. Uh, 3JS can help. I started uh, working with VR uh, the last year, on 2015, and uh, then I, I've, I made some tests, and this is the code for, for one, one of my tests, which is pretty long and really complex, and uh, I'm going to show you a demo, and this is, this is far, far... Uh, a, um, not that, not, not that complex like, like the demo that I will show you. So, uh, to, to, you know, to uh, work with, v, with VR, we can use our new friend. This is a, a super awesome framework from Mozilla called A-Frame. Anybody here knows about it? Please raise your hands. One, two, three guys. Well, okay, not too much. So, that's good because I think that you are going to be pretty amazed about what you can do with A-Frame. So A-Frame basically wraps 3JS and WebGL in HTML custom elements. So you can, um, with plain HTML and some JavaScript, create uh, uh, 3D and VR scenes without you know, having to learn WebGL, WebVR, and all that super complex stuff that we are not used to work with. So, with A-Frame, you can uh, create, as I say, just plain HTML with custom elements. Uh, so in this, in this way, you create declarative web VR scenes. And A-Frame also has support for headsets and controllers. These, uh, these controllers that for the VR world, maybe you have seen some, some demos. And obviously, you can combine it with your favorite framework which is awesome because you can use Angular 2, React, or even plain JavaScript. You know, there is still people doing that, just working with plain JavaScript, and they say that it's even faster than frameworks. So, um, and in these demos also, I will show you that it's combined with, with my, my framework, which is called VideoGular, and it's, it, 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 it is, uh, you will see that to combine, uh, VideoGular is basically a video player with, uh, ma made with custom elements. And you can use plugins like controls or put ads. And we have support for streaming too. And um, we can add cue points to synchronize content. So um, it is very, very easy to, to create your scenes and your video player mixing the custom elements from A-Frame and the custom elements from VideoGular. So, I'm going to show you the demo. Believe it or not, this is only less than 225 uh, TypeScript lines of code and less than 70 uh, HTML lines of code. So it is pretty lightweight, okay? Uh, in, terms of, in terms of code, it is 
it is really lightweight. So, no, that's not the demo. Yeah, this, this is me. Um, let me show you how it, how it loads. So, this is, this is a trip that I made in uh, lovely Catalonia. This is my girlfriend, this is me, this is a friend. And we, we were in this trip where you can just uh, well, walk uh, in the mountains. It's, it was a pretty long trip, but the next day I was pretty tired, actually. Um, it was about six hours walking. Uh, and we have these, these circles here that if you see, when I, when I see to the circles, the circles are expanding. So this is something that I called doors, because it allows you to, to navigate between uh, between uh, different places. So you can actually go with me through, the, through, the, uh, through my walk, and you can actually see the places where I've been. And you can see also these, these, um, uh, these, these labels here, which is, as you can see, this is made with this control bar that you can see below, and then some, this is, this is the cue point system. You will see later how, how we, we made this, the cue points. And you can have also uh, some labels, some places that, that can be interesting. So if you look to the lake, uh, this label, it's racer, then you can say, okay, this is San Maurice Lake, this is pretty cool. And you can uh, navigate, as I said, um, through, uh, through the park. You can also go back and uh, you can see the altitude on, on each stage that we walk until uh, you arrive to, to the end of the, of the lake. And, uh, toot, 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 toot. Okay. and we arrive to the, to the end of our trip and I'm just eating here a sandwich because I'm super tired and happy at the same time. And, and that's all, okay. And uh, this is made with a super cheap camera that it costs around 330 euros. So I don't need a, a super expensive uh, a hardware or whatever. Anybody can do that. Um, so probably you are, okay, just show me the code. Uh, stop talking, man. Um, so some how to do this with, with uh, Angular 2. I mean, there, there is, you will see that you can do that probably in a slightly different ways with other frameworks or whatever. In Angular 2, we need to add the custom elements schema here, just to say to Angular that mm, there is some components that are not from Angular, but from other framework. And uh, then you just uh, create your component, and then you can start writing your HTML, which at the end, it's just the cool thing, right? We, we, we can just write some plain HTML and start working with our real scenes. So um, this VG player is the video color player, and this is an, an iframe scene. So this, is, this tells you that uh, you start, uh, you're a scene, and your scene is going to have a video, and you are going to put there a video sphere. And you are going to link this video to this bind in Angular, which is binded to, to a path to a video file. That's super easy. Um, now we can add these doors that I uh, show you. Uh, and these doors, basically, it's just an image, which has an uh, a, a on most enter and on most leave uh, events. This is, are just, this is just uh, uh, the, the, the native events. I mean, I'm not, this is not uh, A-frame code or Angular 2 code. This is, this is the native event. And we can also put the rotation and the position on the 3D environment. Um, so yeah, that's it. The, the, the image, the source of this thing is an A-frame asset that we can put there. Super easy again. And uh, we can just then bind these, these uh, native events for the almost center, almost leaf. 
And on the almost center, we just said, OK, I want to navigate to the next video uh, or the previous video. And uh, if I must leave, I just unsubscribe, and, and I'm not going to, nav to do the navigation. So that's just to navigate. I mean, this is super easy just to navigate between, between uh, scenes. Just to navigate between scenes, we just need this piece of code and this piece of code. That is it. We are going to add a, a, a few more, uh, few more things. For example, the animations, like when the when the when the circle spans, and to define an animation in this in this example, I've used uh, not the iframe has its own uh, animation system, but um, in this example, I've used um, a, a, a third-party library from Kevin Engo, which is one of the A-frame uh, developers in Mozilla. And this uh, A-frame animation component, I like it more because uh, it resulted to me to be more declarative than the, than the A-frame uh, uh, native, uh, the, 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 the core animation system in A-frame. So to, to do the animations, you can just uh, say, OK, I'm going to start an event when uh, I'm going to start the animation when this, this event is called, and I'm going to do this scale with this, uh, when, when this other uh, uh, event is called, um, and this visibility. So you just can dispatch native event, uh, the, the custom events, and the, and, and the, anima and the animation just, just start. Um, so we can, as I say, we can just trigger the animations with a custom event uh, on the almost center, almost leaf, which is, as I said, this is just take take a look to this. We are working a lot with the native implementations, but with a framework. But this is you can do all this with plain JavaScript, super easy. And obviously, you can also bind your animations. So if you have if you have this this text uh, on on, a, on an ng4 on a loop, you can just bind all the animations and all the stuff with a loop, which is super easy. Um, and now let's see how to synchronize the content. In this example, I'm using VTT tracks. VTT tracks is uh, one HTML5 standard to have. Um, Subtitles or captions or metadata synchronized with the video. It is super cool standard. Uh, I heard about this uh, last year on 2015, um, which in in in, th in that time it, I think that was introduced this this JSON file. So you can uh, have a SRT file or kind of SRT file. With, with, with JSON synchronized on time, which is super cool to do a lot of things. Not just these kind of things, but you can, you can just have any, any kind of metadata synchronized with your video. And to add a VTT track, it is, again, super easy. You can use the native element, the track native element. I've added some sugar here uh, with Videogular. For the like, for example, these BGQ points that allows me to to create uh, these yellow these yellow parts on the on the bar here on the bottom, and uh, also I have these these events that are dispatched by Videolar, so you can just get when when the queue point it's enter when you enter on the queue point and you exit on to the on, on the coup point. And so yeah, we can just add this this thing. We can do a bind here or just put here a plain URL if you want. And then we can just listen to the events. This is the events that are uh, uh, dispatched by, by Videogular framework. And, and then you can just parse the data that it's coming because it comes as a plain JavaScript. It's a, it's a JSON file, but in, in plain text, not JavaScript, sorry. And 
then you can just uh, say, okay, this Q point data, it's this, this JSON, and you can do whatever you, you, you want. For example, in this case, we binded this uh, Q point data to a title here. Uh, so this Q point data title is this title here. So that's super easy to, to add some synchronized content to a VR scene. And uh, I think that I, I think I was too fast. <laughs> so in summary, um, iframe will help you out. I'm, I'm going to show you the the whole example now, just to show you how how it works. Um, so iframe will help you a lot. Um, you can use as I said Angular, or React, or Ember. Plain JavaScript, jQuery, whatever you want. Vue.js, it's pretty good too. And if you need to synchronize content, you can use, as I say, Videogular for some uh, disadvantaged features like synchronizing content or use HD, uh, HLS or Dash for do live streaming because you can do live streaming directly from your camera to, to the phone, uh, to, to the phone of some guy. And this is pretty futuristic, right? I mean, <laughs> To, to do a live streaming to, to, to a camera, to the phone of a guy, and that guy can see what you are looking at. It's pretty awesome. And I think that animations might be tricky. Uh, I recommend you to try some of the libraries out there. Uh, I like, basically, the, the, the Kevin Engo is doing an awesome job. He, he's creating a lot of libraries based, uh, for, for A-Frame. And let me show you the code. Just quickly, because I'm not lying, this is 20, 20, uh, 225 lines of code of TypeScript, and this is the uh, pop, 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 the HTML, which is less than 70 lines of code. Um, and as I said, uh, well, I have some interfaces here that I can even remove it, but I, I like to work with interfaces. And Basically, we have this array of videos, and this array of videos, uh, it's, uh, it has our, our, all our videos and each door. So I can go here and add a new door. Let me show you. For example, I'm going to put this one on minus five. I, know, I don't know where it's going to appear. Uh, I think that I need to compile. I have time to compile. <laughs> Uh, how this? Um, yeah, I'm on presentation mode. This is to serve. Uh, it's compiling. It will take just thirty minutes. It's pretty fast. <laughs> Okay, say that it's invalid. No, it, it is not. Don't lie to me. Okay, so this is the same example as you have seen, but look, we have now two circles. So it's that easy to add a new door. As uh, as going here, let me. Put again this thing in anti presentation mode. Yeah, it's that easy to go here and add a new door, and you can just add the new door. And you can do the same thing for the text. So I can just go here and add a new text. Uh, I can say, JS yes, Congress is awesome. Okay, and uh, I will put it there. I don't know where it is. Uh, so let's try it. It should refresh in about two minutes. No, it doesn't take too much. Okay. So now if I l search, I don't know where it is. It should be around here. Where is, where is this thing? Uh, should be around, I'm pretty sure. Just don't know where it is. Uh, 
camera text. Where, where are you, man? Uh, um, maybe I'm just losing something. Well, anyway, it's life coding, you know. Sometimes it sucks. Um, and, well, basically, most of the code, it's this array, as you can see. Most of the code is just an array of data. And then you have the, the, this on iframe render start, which is when iframe is uh, going to start. And so you can display the doors. And we have the, also the player ready, which is going to also display the doors if the um, data is displayed, it's, it's loaded. Um, then we have the mouse enter plane and the mouse enter mouse lift to display the the the, the, the mouse enter plane displays the text, and the mouse enter mouse lift it's to move between the scenes. And this is the enter queue point exit queue point that basically it's uh, showing the messages up here. These messages up here. So. As I said, it, this is super easy to, 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 to build very declarative uh, scenes. So if you basically read the code, the, the HTML code, you uh, already understand what is happening in, 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 this, in this PR scene. So the, I think that this is super awesome. I must say that A-Frame is still pretty new. You can experiment lots of problems with uh, on mobile. Uh, and um, and some browsers issues, but I still think that everybody should give it a go. It's pretty awesome. Um, and with that, I want to finish uh, here. Uh, I have some links here, uh, the links of uh, of the slides, uh, the repo, A-frame, whatever. Um, start today, it's fun. I, I had a great time working with this. And make awesome things. And thank you. <laughs> and if you have questions, just uh, find, me, find, me, find me out there. I will be uh, just waiting for you or just uh, at the end of the conference or today when we have some beers there, just go there and talk to me, give me a hug, bring me, bring, buy me a beer, I'm super friendly, and if you have any doubt or whatever, just ping me, okay? Thank you very much.